Trotters have reached the back stretch. And they are underway. That's back talker leaving center of the track to grab the early engine here. Down at the pylon, St. Hood away well is a close second sitting the pocket. Now Waltrick moves into the third spot in front of Ludit. Next up on the outside, Magic Melvin is fifth. He'll probably settle it back there instead of trying to get to the front. He's in front of Wunderbar, followed by Hall of Legends and the early trailer. Hey there, bartender, back talker leads the way. Everybody flat as they round the turn. They come to the quarter mile marker and get their 29 even. Sun beaming down on them on this nice day. And from the pocket, St. Hood not going to sit around. George Knapp making the move on Brother Anthony, and St. Hood takes over the lead. Back to second is Back Talker. Another length to third and a Waltrick. Then it's two more to fourth in the first time starter Ludit. Magic Melvin starting to get revved up with a first over. Gives cover there to Wunderbar, who is the three to five favor. Going to have to come from about seven back with a second over. Further back to Hall of Legends in the trailer. Hey, their bartender to the half mile marker, which they reach in 58 and three, 29 and three for the second panel. Saint Hood trotting tall at the moment has kicked his lead out to three lengths from back talker. Inside third is Waltrick. First over is uh, Magic Melvin, but not making much happen as Saint Hood is extending his lead. Wunderbar second over is now about nine away. Back on the inside, Ludit is six, followed by Hey There Bartender and the Trailer Hall of Legends. No slowdown yet for St. Hood, leads by three, comes to three quarters, 127 even, 28 and two on the back stretch. St. Hood trying to trot out the clock here as second is back talker. He's just inching closer, not really making a big move. Then Waltrick and much further back there to Hall of Legends coming way out wide. Top of the stretch and it's St. Hood leading now by much longer because the pocket horse goes off stride there. Back talker way out wide. Hall of Legends trying to move up with Magic Melvin, but this is a romp for St. Hood. Going to get his maiden win with authority for George Knapp. Wins by close to eight. Tight for the minor awards. I believe it's going to be Magic Melvin second, then a photo third between Lou Deet and Wunderbar. Easy one for St. Hood in 156 and two. Oh, the others is kind of lagging in this race. St. Hood wasn't going overwhelmingly fast. Now winners won, 156 and two. It's about what you can expect from a winner, but he's just in another dimension from the rest at the end. Uh, give credit to George Knapp and St. Hood, just much better than everybody else here in this one today. Heading back to the Hanover Shoe Farms winner's circle, unofficial winner of today's eighth race, number one, St. Hood, three-year-old Big Gelding by International Money out of Truffles by Chocolatier, bred by Winback Farm of Maryland, owned by Bay Pond Racing Stable Malvern, PA. Second training win of the day for Joe Pavia, Jr., second driving win of the day for George Napolitano, Jr., and St. Hood, 7-1, third choice on the board. Uh, we talked about him before the race, how he started the year off with three straight in the money, had been out of the money in three straight since, but finds it today in a big way, unraced as a two-year old this is seventh start this year seventh career gets the maiden win winning time of 156 and two for number one saint hood judges have posted the unofficial order of finish number one saint hood finished first number six magic melvin finished second number two ludit finished third and number seven waltrick finished fourth unofficially one six two seven in race eight <laughs> 